good morning in this video we'll discuss about writing data onto a flat file so how to write the data onto a f flat file for example I'm having a table called as an EMP table with some data. So I'm having one table. Now this data I want write into a target, but target is a file for me. So how to do this? First of all, we need to have a metadata with us, the source metadata and the target metadata. So maybe create one target file first of all, then load that into your repository navigator that is one way or whatever the source object you are getting into our repository navigator take that into the target place also and tell that that is in file type. So right now we are assuming that we are having a source table like s underscore emp1. So only one source is there we doesn't have target tape file physically on the system but we want to design a mapping session and a workflow for loading the data into a file. So I am trying to open power center designer. We will try to take the source metadata first of all. So I am going with the source analyzer. Sources menu import from database connect to the source system. and I will try to take a table called as an s underscore emp1 it is saying this object is already there in our repository navigator I will say replace so that object maybe it is already available now this data I want to put into a file called as an employee emp.txt that is my target but in my folder I doesn't have that file so I want to create it and then I want to use it. So whenever you are saying that you want to write a date onto a file, if file is not there, it will create it automatically, not a problem. But only thing is to design our mapping, we should have a metadata. So we will try to design that one logically within our mapping process without depending on physical thing how means definitely we should have a metadata so I'll go to the target designer in the target cerebral navigator if observe it doesn't have any EMP here so we'll try to have that how means this s underscore EMP one I'll drag it this is a source object just know what we are imported drag this object into the target designer. So what happened this object is also added into the targets of repository navigator. But I am saying that this name should be in the form of emp.txt and it is a file it is not a database. So how do you change this means maybe you create a file explicitly and import that is one way I am trying to show the second option because if you want to create a file and you want to import if you are having three columns four columns are not a problem but if your file is consisting or your source is consisting nearly 130 columns now you want to create a file manually and you want to import means it's very difficult so this is the way drag that source object into your target designer now double click on this and go with rename 
rename button and I'm saying that I want to change this as an EMP. So I'm saying that table name should be as an EMP. Click on OK. But first of all, I want to change this as a file. So database type Oracle is there in the bottom. Instead of that, I'll click on the down, drop down list and I'll choose as a flat file. So it is converted as a flat file. Now I'll come back to the source table once again. I'll say rename and I'll say emp.txt. So I'll just I'm saying as an EMP, maybe at the time of uh, session object will give the extension. So we have create we have changed the name from s underscore emp1 as an EMP and database type as a flat file. But when you say as a flat file, here we doesn't have any columns. Everything is in uh, like single line data, but you have to separate with some separator. So what is the column separator? Means I want to use comma as a column separator. How do you specify these things? Means in the bottom, flat file information is there. I'm choosing delimited, go with an advanced, and here specify the column delimiter. Different types of delimiters are there as per your wish you choose it. Various delimiters are there. But I am working with a default delimiter called as a comma. Then click on OK. Then click on OK. But if you want to know what are the columns are there, go to the columns tab and you observe it. These are the fields. So click on OK. So we got EMP as a flat file, but physically in my system it is not there. So at the time of creating session, I will tell that this file should come into this particular area. So finally the flat file metadata is ready as per the target object. One way is import create a table physically in the directory and import it here. The second way is straight away take the source to your target designer and change that as in a file onto the target system. Now we design the mapping. Mapping designer. Drag the source object called as an s underscore emp1. I am creating a mapping first of all m underscore file for what purpose for writing. I will say file write some name. So click on OK. Mapping is created with the source. Now I want to write into a file. So already we have kept into the repository navigator called as an EMP. Simply drag it and map the fields. Employee number, employee name, salary, commission, department number. Save the mapping. Open the workflow manager, create a session object. I am going with the task developer, tasks menu, create, select session, provide the session name, s underscore file write some name, click on create for the particular mapping called as an m underscore file write. Click on OK. Click on Done. Provide the connectivity. Double click on it. Go to the source object. And the source connection is RC underscore source. Then EMP. And it is a file. So whenever you say file, we need to give some properties for that. If it is a source, we will set three properties. File directory, file name, file type. But if we are using as a target only two properties, file directory and file name. So here output file name and output file directory we will see. Output file directory is c colon slash data. And what is the file name means 
emp dot txt then click on ok come to the workflow designer workflows menu create so provide the workflow name wf underscore file write click on ok and drag the session object that is s underscore file write tasks menu link it as link your start to file write save this and then execute it so still our data folder doesn't consist anything source table is consisting three records so we'll execute our workflow so workflows menu start workflow so file is not there but it will create the file and writes the data so come to the data folder now check whether emp.txt file is already there and you got the records in this way but if you observe it doesn't got the column names so if you want to have a target with the column names target file with column names then what you need to do is come back to your session object go to the mapping tab target and here there is a property called as header options what is there it is saying as a no header that is the reason we doesn't got the column names so click on this no header and select as an output field names select this click on ok repository menu save it and then execute it for time being i'll delete this data file what you got as a target and i'll execute it workflows menu start workflow and if you go to the workflow monitor it is in running process succeeded come to the data folder we got emp.txt because i already mentioned that if file is not there it will create it so it is created the file and here if observe now we got the column names also fine now for example my source table is having some records in this way select star from s underscore emp1 it is consisting five records belong to department 20 now if i execute what will happen already my target is available target is already available with the records with the depart number called as in 10 now my source is having a new table with the new set of records with the depart number 20 so when you execute what happened means it will overwrite the file so still i'm not deleting this target file i'm keeping as it is and i'll come back to the workflow and then i'll execute it so I'll commit the data first of all here. So still our emp.txt file is available. I'm executing the workflow. Workflows menu start workflow. So if observe in the workflow monitor, it is in running process. Succeeded. When you come to your data folder, still you rank emp.txt. But here we will be losing the records belong to department 10 will have only the records belong to depart number 20 so what happened to the previous data means that is lost 
means if you use a flat file as a target every time it will wow or writes the data it removes the previous data and writes the new data but uh, in work environment you should not lose the old data old data should be kept as it is so then how do you get that old data as well as new data means we have to specify it so come to your session object once again double click mapping tab select the file in the target and here there will be a property called as an append if exists if table is if file is not there create it if it is already existing i'll ask to append the data so click on append if exists click on ok save this and execute this so already we are having a data file with some records now to identify the difference what i'll do means i'll keep some other records here so trunk table t s underscore emp1 insert into s underscore emp1 where select a star from src underscore where depart number is equal to 30 let's say commit now my source table is having src underscore s underscore emp1 it is having six rows which is belong to department 30 already my destination is there target table with a set of records where belong into depart number 20 already we have specified that we want to load the data in append mode that means i said that if file is not there created if it is already existing append the data so execute the workflow so workflows menu start workflow in the workflow monitor it is showing as a running process it is showing me as in succeeded come to the data for and check it up here double click on this we are having 20 records are there as well as department 30 record also there because we have selected append if exists without overwriting the data it has written the new data into existing file without disturbing the existing records so depending on situations maybe you can overwrite the data or you can append the data with the headings or without headings depending on the requirement so like this you can write the data into a flat file